Okay, so I talk about a lot in videos that angles are absolutely everything. You know, you can see here, it's funny because uh, you see people lifting, you know, three, four times this weight. Um, and it, sometimes it's just not necessary. It's keeping tension on the muscle. Um, so I have like 17 and a half each side. So I was doing eight to 10 reps and then moving the bench up and just playing with the angles. So I, I went up one notch on the bench for eight to 10, eight to 10, eight to 10. Um, yeah, so a, lot, a way to hit the upper chest. And then I had the decline bench, um, putting the focus on the lower chest. So as I said, the best way to build your chest is always to have like an upper, a flat and a lower um, if you're trying to build an overall chest. But uh, again, my focus today was on upper and lower. Um, and then the last one was a move you probably haven't seen. Basically, it's uh, what I would do on cables and I try to mimic cables with dumbbells, um, just flying across my body to kind of work the outside outside of the upper chest. Um, an amazing squeeze on this is one of my favorite moves. Um, and then I had my finisher up on my snapchat or actually it was on my instagram today um it was battle ropes uh walking lunges um with dumbbell burpee push-ups um and prowlers uh five rounds total so i'll put the entire link in the description um i've done a variation of this workout before it's probably one of the hardest ones that i've done you know as in as i'd say i recommend starting with three rounds of it build yourself up and then try and hit five if you can so yeah that's today's vlog workout done uh that's pretty again common trend of the fucking hard workout um just a little bit of advice i was in there um in the warehouse in galway i love that gym it's absolutely amazing um but if you're somebody that's going to the gym in a group of four or five um and you're training for aesthetics and training for hypertrophy and training for bodybuilding style work, um, you are n probably not going to respond at all in a group of five. Um, th th there was a group in the gym of about five guys, 18, 19, 20 year olds, good, you know, decent shaped guys. You're not going to get in shape if you're taking four or five minute rest periods in between your hypertrophy. Um, just a little bit of word of wisdom, you know, go in there with your stopwatch. Even if you're in a group of five, break up into twos um, and one maybe do by, them, by themselves and get your workout done. You know, it's quality over quantity. You know, I think those guys were in there when I went in. I was in for about 60 minutes and they were still in there um, and they hadn't broke a sweat yet uh, because the rest periods were about five six minutes because they were taking turns on each one so my advice is if you train in a group or with a partner um split into twos you know just split into a group um of two people or a pair and time your rest periods you know quality over quantity if you're any longer than 60 minutes in the gym and you're not prepping for a photo shoot or a show where you've got some steady state cardio you you're doing something wrong with your workout you know get in there get in hard train hard get out be done with it Okay, not the first time that I went off topic completely on the finisher and just posted the vlog below. So uh, check out that. I'm again talking about investing in yourself. Um, again, I, I post it by itself because it's kind of individual completely from this vlog. Um, so yeah, try out that finisher. Absolutely killer one to finish it. Um, and if you're somebody that's trained in a group, you know, take what I said on board. You are literally going to like treble your results over the next six, eight weeks um, if you break into groups and start shortening up your rest period. As I said, going into the gym without a program is kind of like going into the car without Google Maps or knowing where you're driving to. Um, you know, have a program, have a plan, follow it, stick to the rests, stick to the sets, stick to the reps, um, and you're gonna get better results from it. It's literally like going into your car to drive to fucking Wexford and having no idea how to get to Wexford. You're gonna drive all around the fucking country looking for it. The gym's the same thing, you know? So make sure you have a program, make sure you have a plan, um, and then go for it when you attack. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps. Um, please like and share. Again, as I went off on a complete different rant and investing in yourself and making sure you double down on yourself and, you know, how thoughts become things and consuming information in your mind. So check out that video. It should be below this. Um, that was the original tie into the vlog, but I ended up shooting another one um, because it was so separate from this vlog. Um, so hope it helps. Uh, please like and share the page. Thanks again for watching. I'll come at you guys tomorrow with another vlog.